and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 70 carpenter quest. And as always, hello from Ifri. Hello. So we are here in New Gridania at uh, 10, 12, just outside the carpenter guild. And we need to talk to Semi. And in case you're wondering, the gear I'm wearing is the crafted 290 set, which we've already got up to two star level. So I'm a bit over prepared for this uh, quest. But anyway, let's get it done. So the quest is called Tea Party Rules. So Semi is desperately trying to catch your attention. We will get one of each of the grade five crafting materials and we'll also get Stroke of Genius. It says may increase maximum CP on the second step of synthesis. Increase guaranteed when a specialist. Okay. So Mifri, there you are. I was beginning to wonder when you'd show up. Timbermaster Beaton says he has some clients he wants to introduce to us. So, well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Okay, so let's go in. I always liked Tim Master Beaton. He's, he's a nice man. He's a good teacher. He takes the, He has a positive approach to teaching. So, you are here. Good. Uh, Gay Hard... Uh, you remember, Mifri. Remember, ha, huh, I could hardly forget. I would know... There would be no exaggeration to say that I owe this woman my life. In fact, the reason I'm here is related to the time Mifri saved us. By the bow she brought, I was able to drive out the Exal forces that threatened us. Our victory against them has bolted our unit's reputation, and we have been receiving new recruits by the dozens since. In our latest batch, we received a mixture of eager Alamegans and Gridanians. If you do not yet see the problem, allow me to explain. There have always been a certain racial tension between the refugees and locals. I thought holding a tea party might ease the unease between them. I was wrong. Now they seem to have even greater aversion to one another. There you have it. I suggest be, you begin by speaking with Gayahard's recruits to see what exactly went wrong. If we can pinpoint the cause of their feud, it will make it much easier for us to solve the problem. Yes, sir, you can count on me. So, Mifri, would you mind accompanying Sammy? Mind you, this is an official request. It will not do to send someone who has yet to complete basic training to carry out this task alone. So, it'll be the two of you then. Good. Now, I imagine most of my new recruits will be at around the adder's nest you should have no trouble finding them once you have finished see that you report back to me yes sir okay so let's go speak with the gridanian soldier i'm assuming yep i just there they would be near the um grand company it was actually quite a fun quest i think this was towards level 50 when we made the bow to drive away the Excel forces. So you can go back to my old videos to see that if you need to. Anyway, let's talk to Gridani Soldier. If I had to talk about uh, with the captain, he's... Oh, you're here to speak with me. Uh, why don't we like them? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Every time we try to reach out to them, how are we repaid? With hostility. Take the tea party Captain Gayhard arranged for us, for example. We attended hoping to turn over a new leaf. They, however, clearly came for different reasons, entirely because the moment we sat down, they served us Alamegan tea. It seemed they have gone from refusing to accept our culture to openly burning it. My apologies, but I would like to leave it at that, lest anger gets the best of me. If you wish to know more, however, perhaps you should try speaking with one of the Alamegan recruits. Okay, so I wonder if we're going to make like a teapot which can serve two separate teas at the same time or something. Hi Semi, what's up bro? Okay, let's go in. Racial tension exists everywhere. So where are we going? Over here. So let's sprint a Rooney. I will eventually upgrade and update all of these macros, every single one, but one step at a time. So what are you looking at? Is there something you need? If not, I suggest you move along. 
Those questions sound an awful lot like the ones Captain Gayhard asked us yesterday. Is he the one that put you up to this? Every day we Alamegans bleed and fight and die to protect this country, and yet the Gridanians still regard us with the same suspicion and resentment that they do beastmen. Even so, we decided that the Tea Party Captain Gerhard arranged was a good chance for us to establish some common ground with them and find a way to lay aside some of our differences. We thought serving Alamegan tea would be a good way to break the ice, but no, our kind gesture was not met Sorry, was met only with disdainful stares. I can read. So, well, no longer uh, will we be made to feel worthless by the Gridanians. From now on, we'll have nothing to do with them. Interesting. Okay, so it's obvious what the problem is. But, what is the solution? That is the main question. Solution, solution, solution. Let's us see. So let's go back to Guildmaster Beaten. And let's see what we need to do. And more importantly, what we need to craft to break the ice. You know, ice, iced tea. <laughs> okay, whatever. Please don't unsubscribe, please. I need you. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Okay, well, here. Home sweet home. I think Carbon was the first craft I unlocked. I can't remember. Okay, let's talk to him. So, I see you have spoken with some of Gerhard's newest recruits. Do you have any ideas how we might put an end to this their feud? A striking dummy should do the trick. A far recent style tea party should end the bickering. A matching set of furniture should bring them together. Far Eastern. Yeah, maybe Far Eastern because that's like neutral to both. A Far Eastern themed tea party. That just might work. No one would feel as though they are being snubbed and the interesting setting might even provide them with a topic of conversation. Uh, you re recall the tea house benches of Kugane, do you not? Very good, I suggest you craft one. Okay. The good thing is, they actually provide you all the mats. So, let us see. Tea House. So, Tea House Bench. There we go. So, synthesize. And the good news is, we do have an amazing macro that will basically just get us... 100% without even trying. I hope I press the right macro. Because these are the two macros I made when I was leveling up the whole time. Now, the good news is, is that I can pretty much do all the macros and all the crafts I do without even needing CP food anymore because there's enough CP on my gear. And you can see which... Uh, gear uh, melds I've done in my spreadsheet. Okay, so let's finish this off. Prudent Touch is really, really overpowered. Okay, in case you're wondering what that pause is, that's a protection to protect against uh, false... Um, By God's blessing. Okay, so we're done. Easy peasy. So let's talk to Gayhard. So success is only possible if each of the members of the squad completely trust one another. So let's hand over the bench. It says a folding bench commonly found in Far Eastern tea houses, complete with a paper parasol to shield tea drinkers from the elements. Let's hand over. So, what's this? I've never seen anything like it. You are looking at a tea house bench, the quality and make of which is identical to those crafted by the master carpenters of the Far East. Now, Semi, what have you made for us? So, allow me to present to you with this. The Mifri Heart. So, this is exactly the same thing as Mifri crafted. What led you to decide upon a tea house bench? 
After speaking with the Initius, I surmised that both sides had attended the tea party hoping to reconcile their differences. Given the right environment, I reckon they still can. So I thought why not hold a Far Eastern style tea party? Not only would it provide them with a relaxed atmosphere, but it would give them a chance to bond over a culture that is different from their own. That you have begun taking the needs of the client to consideration, and in doing so came to the same conclusion as Mifri, is evidence that you have matured as a carpenter. Well done. Now it is time to put your benches to the test. I would have the two of you take to the Apkalu Falls and set them up. Go Gehard, gather your subordinates and Mifri and send me there. I will join you all shortly. Very well. So it makes me wonder if by finishing all the level 70 crafter quests, if we're going to unlock just more of the environment. Because we already saw hints of that when we were doing the level worker quest line. So it would be really cool if, uh, if that's the case for all the crafts. We like permanently upgrade the environment. And I've already done tests, obviously, that you have to have done the quest yourself, otherwise you don't see the change in environment, which I think is, you know, the start of something exciting for the game, personally, that you can change the environment of the game around you just for you if you've done certain quests. It's kind of like the... Oh, what was the name of that system? There was a system that they had... It was like phasing or zoning or whatever in World of Warcraft, which effectively did the same thing. But anyway... Let's talk to him. So, welcome everyone. While well, I know our last tea party was by no means a rousing success, I appreciate how willing most of you were to give this idea a second chance. It seems some of you felt that certain cultures were disrespected at our last get-together. For that, I apologize. Regardless of where you are from, I value and respect every one of you. As you should each other, for we are brothers and sisters in arms, family if you will. I hope that this gathering the craftsmen of the Carpenters Guild helped me organize will allow you to realize that now that sorry, that now for the fun part. Okay, so we're saying it up. So they're not being given the drill sergeant routine. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to be permanent fixtures for Apkalu Falls going forward. So what do you think everyone? Before you is an exact replica of a tea house in Kugane. Kugane, as in the far eastern port city. Well, I suppose these decorations do have a certain exotic charm. A Kugane style tea party, huh? Everything looks so elegant. These furnishings are almost as beautiful as those found here in Gridania. Carpentry is culture, and culture is ever present in our lives. One can learn a great deal about a people simply by looking at their furniture. So, seeing here upon these benches has made me realize that there are many magnificent things in this vast world. In my narrowed mindedness, I nearly missed out on them. We should have taken the time to learn more about you and where you are from. We eat meals together, we fight together, and yet because of our reluctance to speak with you, we know almost nothing about you. For that, we are sorry. No, it is we who must apologize. While many of us consider Gridania to be a second home, there is a lot about your culture that we have yet to fully grasp. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry, I'm broken. So let us raise our cups and give a toast to the start of a new beautiful friendship. Hmm. Have you all been enjoying yourselves? Yes, it's been a long time since I talked so much and laughed so hard. I thought we had absolutely nothing in common, but I was mistaken. Indeed, the more we speak, the more I come to realize how alike we are. I'm glad we've finally found a way to put our differences aside. Good. Remember on the battlefield it matters not where you are from or where you were raised, only that you survive. For that you will need to rely on each other, never forget that. Cool. Let's talk to Beaten. So, well done the both of you. While fulfilling the client's needs with great finesse um, is something I've come to expect of Mifri, you surprised me, Sammy. You had the same idea as one of our guild's best artisans, uh, proves that you are one step closer to becoming a fully-fledged carpenter. Do not, however, mistake that I that to mean the items the two of you crafted are a comparable quality. Even to the untrained eye, one is far superior to the other. Quality, however, is not everything. Uh, yes, it is. Ignore his statement. Quality. Mifri has spoken. Uh, your client has walked away feeling completely satisfied, and that is a tremendous accomplishment. Sammy, if you continue to work hard, perhaps someday you will come to be as good as this talented woman beside you. Thank you, sir. I shall remember this moment and continue honing my skills that might one day rival Mifri's. Gah, I nearly forgot. If I may be so bold as to ask, sir, what is to become of our guild? Will we recover from the debt anytime soon? I beg your pardon, what debt? Uh, what debt? So long as we continue to receive commissions from the Order of the Twin Adder, we n need not want for capital. But sir, if not for the gill, why are we working... Sorry, why were you working yourself so hard? You wouldn't even stop to take meals. Ah yes, I was temporarily overcome by a desperate need to reconnect with the wood. Ugh. To achieve this, I began living as though a tree would, taking in only sunlight and water. I really need to stop jumping to conclusions. Oh, and Mifri, please allow me to thank you once again. While it was a misunderstanding on my part that led us to the Far East, I couldn't be happier with the result. I will be eternally grateful to you for seeing me through this journey and for all you have taught me. Though this particular adventure may be over, I have no doubts we will embark upon another together in the near future. Until then, I shall continue to practice and practice and practice some more. When you next see me, I may nearly be as good as you. Ha 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 ha. Just keep subscribing to my YouTube channel and you'll be good. So Mifri, your ability to inspire people never fails to astound me. It is no small part, thanks to you, that Sammy has grown as much as she has. Your talent and the love you hold for your craft is a rarity even among the elite. I hope that you will continue to use both to serve men and women all across Eorzea. And the world, wink. Cool. So that's complete. 
So, in carving you past as a carpenter, you have learned Stroke of Genius. And that's it. Done. I'm surprised there wasn't any sort of, like... Oh no, the achievement was for actually hitting level 70, not for doing the quest. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.